All right, so let's talk about this hot stock right now. OCGN, Ocusgen Inc. And I'm not gonna lie to you, this is a play that my friend told me about at this price range right here, I'll show you. Around this price, no, not, like around $5.26, right? And I didn't buy it. I was like, okay, you know, 100 shares will cost me around $526, blah, 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 because I normally at least try to get 100 shares of a penny stock, right? And market close, as you can see right here, was 526, right? But, but after hours, it went as high as, no, it actually went higher than 761. I don't know what was Robinhood playing games. I saw it touch $8, right? So as you see, $8.62, right? That's after hours trading, which means on Monday morning, depending on the news, this stock could be $10 or more, right? It could be, right? So... With this play that I'm going to do, I am not a financial advisor. This is just what I'm planning to do. Just Yes, I missed at 526, right? But for me, it doesn't really matter. Uh, just because I missed out on big gains. I, could, I didn't lose anything, right? So that's still a plus, right? But I'm still going to chase this at 862 or if it's 950 on Monday morning or $10. I'm still going to try to get 100 shares and... Let, let's do that right now. Let's see. Limit order. So let's say it's $10. That 100 shares will be $1,000, which, um, well, Robinhood, like, literally, after 1000 like, it's going to be pending. So I kind of hope it's nine fifty or, or, or like, not less or $9 or less because I still will get the 100 shares, right? So with the 100 shares, my uh speculation as you can see the chart by the way i'll show you some articles as well it's up 368 percent for the week the month is up 237 percent and for the three month it's up 2861 percent this is the thing with penny stocks there's always a reason it breaks out right and i will explain why ocgn broke out and why sometimes you got to trust your gut feeling Sometimes you got to trust, you know, if you, you have a friend that also is into stocks um, heavy and they, you know, they look at the market, they look at the articles, they look at the charts, everything, then, you know, some science listen to them, right? Because it's the same scenario with AMC. I missed out on AMC when I was the one that I see was like, oh, yeah, this looks like a great price target at $5 and didn't end up buying that day. The next day I regretted it. So uh another thing with ocgn that i'm going to do once i buy it i will put a um trailing stop order i think it's called trailing trailing yes trailing stop order which is a stop loss right so my trailing stop order will be 10 percent because i if i'm gonna invest at least this amount 950 dollars or 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 even 800 dollars i'm not trying to lose more than 10 percent right because this price could oh everybody could be like oh wow it's up the market opens on Monday and then a bunch of people could sell and then it could go back to the lows of the fives or maybe the fours or even 397, right? So, you know, you always got to be cautious, right? Don't all, don't only, oh, the YouTuber said, pick this stock, do this. I'll do the same thing. No, don't always do that because you could lose your money easily. So that's why I'm going to play it safe. This is still a high risk, high reward stock, right? Because there's hype. So now let's go to the article. What's the hype about? OCG and stock, what to know as OQGen source today, right? There was a Yahoo Finance article, but I couldn't find it. It was way better than this one. So OQGen, OCGN was up more than 60% in trading on Friday after announcing on Tuesday it will enter a partnership with Barat Biotech to bring the latter's COVID-19 vaccine to U.S. markets, right? Covaxin is a notable newcomer to the vaccine conversation because Barat Biotech believes its vaccine may also be effective against the UK variant of COVID-19 per phase two clinical trial results from last month. Now, in the Yahoo Finance article, it was also talking about uh, it may be effective against different strains, like more more strains of more strains of the of the uh, COVID-19 and stuff like that. This vaccine can also be stored at room temperature. 
compared to the ultra cold freezers ne necessitated by mRNA vaccines already on the market. So that's a very a good plus, a good plus, right? Room temperature. The deal was initially announced in late December, but specifics were only released this week. OQGen will have U.S. rights to the vaccine and be responsible for development, regulation, and commercialization in the market. In return for these services, OCGN will retain 45% of profits from U.S. markets. Now, the thing is, this is not FDA approved yet. If it gets FDA approved, you see this price target right now after hours of 862, this could double, triple, or quadruple, right? There's other companies, which I will show you uh, soon, like Moderna and stuff like that, that they work on COVID vaccines and got approved. Yeah, they skyrocketed. OQGen has had a volatile week with OCGN stock declining after the company released details for the of the executive agreement on Tuesday. So yeah, <laughs> it's not declining now. The hype, oh man, I, it's just annoying when, I, when I, I'm there at like price ranges like this and I'm thinking, okay, it's kind of high because the I think the high for the day was like five something and I'm like, oh, five dollars and some change. Like I'm, I don't want to buy it that range, right? I'm going to wait for it to drop and I forgot to check the market again and it didn't drop and then th this happens. But yeah, it's uh, for me personally, I don't think it's too late, right? I, I think that if FDA approval happens, this 862 you could be looking at 20 20 or more dollars so i'm really excited about that another article here this one is a market watch one okugen and Biot biotech announced ex execution of definite agreement for the commercialization of covid next okay so we we kind of read this this article is from the second so you you know why it's up because people are like this is the next one this is the the meat this is the meat and gritty one like that that you will see and all this stuff let's check moderna you see let's check moderna well before we go to moderna look at the three month chart here my friend actually had a thousand shares at 15 cents but look at look, look at this from november 6 all the way to let's go here in here to december 22nd it was under a dollar under a dollar all this time of course if you're holding this all all these months and you know the the thing with penny stocks is not to hold forever is to buy hold maybe for two three weeks if two three weeks pass and the stock is not moving like this obviously you're gonna sell but you know i, I never i didn't hear about this company dur during this time so you know it's all good it's still at a good price range regardless it's not like it's twenty dollars per share so i still can get into it and you know if you could and you want to get into it, do your own due diligence, do your own research. Uh, as I said before, I am not a financial advisor. So whatever you do with your money, that's on you. Don't don't blame me or anything like that. But I definitely think uh, for me personally, I definitely am going to get into this. I'm going to, you know, it's a risky play at this price range. Hopefully, like I said, on Monday opening, it, it's less than this. If it's, if it's 9 to $10, I'm still going to get in. And we'll see how it goes from there. I believe FDA approval is um, around mid-February. So we're almost there. So look at Moderna. Let's go to the one month, right? Moderna one month ago. Actually, it's still too high. Like three months ago. Let's go three months ago. $72, right? To 175 but it was even lower than that <laughs> like last year you see these it's just it's just insane how how a vaccine does this but it makes sense because the profits and all that stuff so we could for ocgn i'm not saying we're gonna see this price range but we could see half of this or or a little less like it's it's just so much potential we will see only I believe we will get into crazy territory, fifty dollars or, or or more, for OCGN, if it gets FDA approved. And if it does, and I'm, I'm gonna like I said, I'm try, gonna try to scoop a hundred shares, scoop up, and if it happens, boom, I'm I'm good and I'm happy with it with that amount uh, of purchase. So thank you for watching and peace.